it's Bruce with Eat, Drink, Travel. Now, I've said this plenty of times. I love Chinese food. I love dim sum. And this place here is arguably the best dim sum buffet in all of Bangkok. And it's called Summer Palace. Let's go take a look. Perfect, right there. <laughs> Thank you very much. The sofa, huh? Oh, as I get situated here. Okay, let's take a look at the menu. Okay, look at this menu here. It's very, very large. Of course, pause it if you want to uh, see everything that's on here. This menu is so big for what they offer. Now, most buffets may only offer you know, 10, 15 items. This has almost 50 items on the menu for you to pick from. So I'm gonna order an assortment of things and if I can't finish it, I hope they don't charge me extra and I hope they let me take it home because my eyes are bigger than my stomach right now. And this does sound good too. This is the inside of the Summer Palace Intercontinental Hotel. Well, the restaurant within the hotel. Look at that. This is definitely a date atmosphere. Maybe next time I'll bring someone along so I can order even more food and just show them a bigger variety because I'm just gonna order about eight things, which for one person is beyond enough food. I, I don't know if, I'll, if I can finish it all. Thank you for the tea. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look at that. On some water, please. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, this is fancy. They don't have sugar here if you want to sweeten your tea, but they have syrup. Wow. Mm. Uh, I give you a try. Okay. Not, uh, this oh. is uh, barbecue pork parsley. Okay. And this one is fine. Can you try? Thank you very much. So this is a barbecue pork uh, pastry. And I forgot what he said this was, but it's something with chives. I assume maybe shrimp, but we'll try it out. That's the abalone soup. Abalone soup. Okay. Thank you very much. Abalone soup with fish maw. So let's put the napkin on. I mean, we're not animals, are we? And let's try this. I was not expecting that. It's barbecue pork. With bread wrapped around it, pastry. But it's sweet. Mm. Mm. That's almost at least to me, like a dessert dish. But it's not dessert. It's good. Mm. And more food keeps on coming. Zero. Ah, thank you. Oh, and what was this again? Uh, deep fried chives. Uh, deep fried chives. Yes. How about this? Um, I like, I like this. I'm gonna try this right now. <laughs> but it looks so good. And that's, um, it's shrimp wrapped in like some sort of flour. And this is chicken with uh, jellyfish. Yeah, so I put my finger right there. Still have more food coming. Mm. Try it. Oh, that's good for a vegetarian dish. That's really good. Mm. Oh, thank you very much. That's the fried shrimp. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> thank you very much. Look at that. So deep fried shrimp and uh, Hong Kong noodles with barbecue pork. So let's see how this is made right here. Oh, 
Oh my god. That was good. Oh, that shrimp. Look at that. It's caked on with that batter. And this sauce here, it's kind of like a sweet and sour sauce if you're familiar with that in the States. But this is damn good. Mm. What we have here. Hi. How are you? Oh, yeah. Seafood. Mm. That's the seafood with caviar. Yeah. Mm, how are y'all? Yep. Steamed up wings. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. That is the Hong Kong uh, noodles. This right here is the shrimp. It's shrimp roll. <laughs> That's the abalone and fish moss soup. That was free. Uh, chive dumpling. That is um, shrimp right there with a the sauce. This right here is a seafood dumpling with caviar. And this is your steamed prawn dumpling right here. And then this uh, shrimp, scallop vegetables topped with katsubushi. And of course that is the chicken and jellyfish. And we still have a few more things coming. Okay, we better try these noodles before more food comes. Mm. There's a crispy and soft texture to the noodles. The barbecue pork is a little on the sweet side, which I like. And there's strips of mushroom in there. And green onion. Mm. Chicken feet, yes, thank you. And oh, and some more dip. Oh, di these are actually dipping sauces. Thank you very much. Thank you. I've actually never had this dish before, but I definitely want to give it a shot. Abalone and fish maw. I don't know how I could explain it. I think fish maw is bits of fish mixed along with abalone and I think these are mushrooms. Oh, by the way, I hate mushrooms, but for the sake of the video, I'll eat them. Yeah, this is good. This is a good soup. the broth. It's almost like a gelatin type broth. It's not overpowering at all. You would think with the seafood inside, abalone and fish, that it'd be somewhat pungent. No, it's surprisingly mild. And the textures, um, it's, they're not usual textures by Western standards, but um, it's good. I mean, it's a lot like if you've ever had tripe, um, almost like that texture, but not as tough. Mm. This I will definitely finish. Yeah, I have that. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I think she was bringing me somebody else's food. <laughs> if you've ever had dim sum, chances are you've probably had this dish here, Hargal. It's just shrimp wrapped in flour. It's a dumpling. And uh, let's try this here. Mm. Dude, that is so good. That is so good. I think that's like fresh shrimp. Okay, let's... Uh, Mix some sauce together and try out the other stuff. I was kind of waiting for everything to show up all at once, but stuff gets cold and I'm getting pretty hungry. Next, we're gonna try the seafood cab. Sorry, the seafood dumpling topped with caviar.
Dude, this is all you can eat. I would order more of this. Mm. Dude, this is so good. This is the steamed shrimp with uh, scallops. And <laughs> of course it fell out of the wrapper, but. Mm. It's very similar to the one I just tried, but the toppings are different, which makes it taste a little different. Mm. And what that was, that's bonito flakes on top of the dumpling. So now we're gonna go to the exotic foods. Uh, this right here is jellyfish. Yes, you heard me right. Jellyfish. Look at that. These are the things that sting you in the ocean. Mm. It's a very rubbery texture. Think of like fried chicken, but it tastes like rubber. Um, it does not taste fishy whatsoever. I guess it's more like a cartilage. Mm. As far as the chicken, you know, oh, well, actually both of these are served cold. This is cold, the jellyfish is cold. Mm. It's boiled chicken, but it almost seems like they put alcohol on the chicken, like brandy. Mm. I mean, it's good. It's not my top choice here, but it is tasty. And if I ever got served it again in the future, I wouldn't say no. You have to expand your horizons when you eat out. This is the one thing a lot of people do not like to try, and I don't know why. But this right here is chicken feet. Chicken feet is really good. That is really good. That is so damn good. Mm. So. Mm. <laughs> Bones. <laughs> so it does have that cartilage taste. But I mean, the cartilage uh, texture, but the taste is just out of this world. If you've never tried chicken feet, you have to try it. I mean, if you eat chicken, why not try chicken feet, right? Now, this is the Chinese noodle roll. This is almost a staple of uh, a dish I get every time I get dim sum. This is one of my favorites, hands down. I, if a dim sum place does not have this, I probably will not eat there. That's how much I love this. Look at that. This isn't pieces of shrimp. This is whole shrimp that's inside. Mm. So. The shrimp roll, it's wrapped in this, like it's like a flower wrapping. It's very, it's almost translucent. It's almost see-through. Uh, the shrimp, I mean, I'm telling you, this is like fresh, fresher seafood. I don't think it's frozen. And the sauce that they pour around it, it's like a sweet sauce. And the combined, the tastes are just out of this world. A shrimp roll. Just go to any dim sum place, ask for a shrimp roll. Not deep fried, like the other one I got earlier. Oh, yeah, it's make room. So that is the Peking duck. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, I can't wait for you. Yes. Okay. Would you like anything else? Can you me that? Uh, I'm going to just finish all this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of food. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> so the waiter comes by every few minutes and asks if I want anything else. I ordered way too much food. I, I don't think I can eat all of this. But he knows I'm making a video. So he's like, I'm not going to give you a full order of the Peking duck, but I'll give you some. 
and he's bringing more stuff. And crispy pork. Yeah. I, 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 was, I was telling everyone that I don't think I can eat it all, but you said I'll just bring you a small sample. Yes, thank you for your part of sample. Thank you very much. And that's uh, crispy pork. Wow. We have to try it. I love crispy pork. Look at this. It's not spicy hot, but it's hot. We just made up. Don't rush me, guys. When it's this good, you just want to savor every taste. And now we're going to try the Peking duck. Look at that right there. Um. Mm. Duck is so good. Mm. So, I've had Peking duck in the past. Normally, when I've had it, it's like in a hoisin sauce, and they give you like these little mini pancakes, and you wrap it up. They didn't do that this time, but the taste of the duck with this sauce that they're using is better than other Peking ducks I've eaten in the past. Wish they had the pancakes here, but with all this food that's on my table, I am not gonna starve. I feel like I'm about to throw in the towel but I still have a lot of food I have to eat. And plus they gave me uh, samples, which I did not order. So that really um, is a lot of food that I got. But look at this. I still have some jellyfish. I still have uh, the rice noodle roll, crispy pork, Peking duck, chicken feet, abalone soup, some noodles. Uh, I have to finish that. Plus I'm getting, I'm getting another pot of tea because this tea is very tasty. I love it. I just want to go to sleep, man. Throwing in the towel. This is what I have left over. You know, a brand new pot of tea. And I am just gonna sit down here for a few minutes and rest. That's a lot of food. And they don't charge you extra if you don't finish it all, which is fantastic because some buffets in the US do charge you for that. So, let me just sit here and drink my tea and I'll get back to you in a little bit. Well, that's the end of my meal here at Summer Palace. I have to say, out of the places I've eaten here in Bangkok for dim sum, that is hands down my favorite place. They have the best dim sum that I've tried here. Now, also keep in mind, it's the most expensive I've tried here. Uh, after, you know, after taxes and service fees, it came out to 1,550 bots which is roughly $48 US. So if you do come here with, uh, you know, maybe on a date or bring your parents or whatever, uh, you can easily spend uh, upwards of a few hundred bucks if there's uh, four people. But this is a great place and if I wanted to come here again, I probably would. I mean, I would definitely recommend this. It's inside the Intercontinental Hotel on Sukhumvit in Bangkok. It's on the second floor, and you have to come here and at least try it one time. That dim sum is the best there is in town that I've tried. Anyway, if you like this content, please hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, I guess I'll talk to you later. Thank you for spending your time with me. Hope you're hungry.